guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Thank you guys. For those of you, you know, middle of the night, it's really late, maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m., my video's up, somehow you found it late or you found it right away, whatever, and you're like, hmm, ooh, Mommy Tang. And you're just like, you know who I'm talking about. You know, those like girls, like, you know, kind of like watch it like this and you're like, <sighs> do you ever do that? Like you watch a video of somebody and you're like dying to stay awake for some reason. Like you don't need to stay awake, but you're like dying to stay awake. So you're like, <sighs> one of those. Thank you. So guys, did you guys like my cucumber kimchi last week or last video? Yeah. Well, Guys, if you really like the kimchi video, um, I'll do more of that for you. And also, I don't even know why my comment is on for some of the videos and some of the videos are not. Like, it's so weird. Like, I can't control that. I am not controlling that. People are like, yeah, you're turning it off. I'm not doing that. Like, for real. I have no idea what's going on with YouTube. I heard that you have to have like a million subscribers to have like a, somebody to help you from the YouTube side. Whatever. It is what it is. One thing I wanted to say today, what was it? Mm. All I know is I'm hot. Oh, it rained all day today and I have my AC on, but it's still oh, so muggy and like humid. Um, what am I, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Because it took me like literally two hours to film the cucumber, believe it or not, it took me like two hours, okay? I forgot to mention how to store the cucumber kimchi, right? This applies to all kimchi, basically. When you make it fresh, right? If you like it raw, like the way it is, then you want to put it in the refrigerator. Kimchi never expires, okay? In Korea, there was like kimchi that's like 10 years old. They pay like hundreds of dollars just to eat like one cabbage of it. So it never expires, basically. Um, so what you want to do is you want to keep it outside for how sour you want. So it really depends on what type of kimchi and how sour you want it. Let's say you want your sourness to be like right here, then um, keep it outside to like you're right here. You know what I'm saying? Never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Let's say you want your sourness to be like right here. And this is the raw stage, okay? And this is like so sour, right? Then what you need to do is you need to put it outside till it gets up to here, right? As soon as you get to up to here, you put it in the refrigerator. So that way, for two, three days, it'll take about this, you know, it'll take a little bit of time to get to the desire, you know, the sourness. And then from that, it'll keep on going sour, 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 you know, even in the refrigerator. But I mean, you could eat it like even though it's really sour up to here. Obviously, you could make soups, you could make you know dumplings, you could make you know fried rice, you could make. There's so much recipe that you can make with sour kimchi. But anyway, so that's it. Okay, I'm so hot, <sighs> guys. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think I'm going through menopause or something? Oh, do you think I get like hot flashes sometimes? I'm too young though to go through that. Don't you think? I'm only in my mid-40s. I thought you go do that when you're mid-50. It's just hot, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, today, I have some noodles for you guys. Now, this noodle is called chanchi noodle, okay, in Korea. Makguksu, chanchiguksu, you know, chanchi uh, noodle, chanchi noodle. So, what chanchi means in Korea is festival, you know? So, weddings and, you know, any occasion that's like, have like you know festivity and stuff like that koreans eat this for some reason i think i don't know maybe i'm wrong but i think they believe that i think if from chinese like olden days they believe that if you eat noodles you could you can live long life or something like that i don't i'm gonna be totally wrong I, i'm always wrong but anyways yeah so um People eat chanchi noodle, right? Now, usually the soup broth is made out of anchovies, you know, the dried anchovies. Yeah, that's like Korean staple stock, um, you know, what they use. But I don't do that because obviously this is a vegan channel. So I use very simple, um, just kombu, which is the sea, um, yeah, seaweed. <laughs> and I use seaweed and it tastes just 
good, you know? My friends came over, my parents who are used to this chanchiguksu, makuksu, using the anchovy, they eat them, they say, this actually tastes better. They always say that to me because they say, it tastes more clear and kekkete means like more like clean, I guess, you know? So I'm going to share that with you. And this is Beppy's favorite. Like she'll wake up in the morning. I'm not kidding you. And she'll wake up and I think she dreams about it because as soon as she wakes up, like sometimes she's like, she sleeps right next to me, right? <laughs> I'll show you some pictures again. She might get freaked out, but she sleeps next to me, right? She, I don't know why, like she has her own bed, but like in the middle of the night, she was just like, somehow I wake up and I see her like this, okay? Like literally in my bed, okay? Beppy is my be 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 be. Right? And she sleeps like near where I sleep. Like I literally sleep like in the corner. I like to sleep like right, this is like my bed, right? I sleep like right here in the corner like my legs are hanging down my arms are hanging down that's how I sleep and she's like this on my bed right and she'll wake up first thing she'll say is like mommy can I have the the white noodle she calls it the white noodle because obviously the noodle's white right and I'll be like of course you could have anything you want baby and the topping there's so many different toppings but I'm going to show you the simple very simple topping today there's about four toppings that I use for this noodle in my house, vegan version, I guess, I'll share with you one of them today, okay? Let's go. Now guys, if you guys are cooking this at home, you guys want to do this using two stove or two heat source, okay? I mean, obviously I don't have one here, so I gotta show it to you one by one, but why would you do that at home, okay? So what you want to do is you want to boil two water at the same time, one for the stock, one for the noodle, okay? So let me just show you what I'm gonna do with the stock first. Just water right two three you you do the math okay we call it tashima dried tangle it says or dry kombu or dry seaweed uh, you just want to break them apart like that and you want to use pretty much a lot of it yeah because that's the only thing that's going to go in there for stock the Koreans would put here like a little bit of tashi and they would put anchovies in here, right? But we're not using anchovies, so this is it. This is a soup stock, that's it. Okay, so we want to boil that. And there's not even meanwhile. You know, I always do like, meanwhile, let's chop some vegetable, let's chop this. And like, we don't even have that today. This is how simple this recipe is. You just have to boil water and just put noodle and that's it. Like, for real, okay? Okay, I'm gonna like show you, let's, what should I do? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like lost. Just hot and lost. Oh, okay. Um, what am I, what, what's next, what's next? Okay guys, now I'm boiling water, okay? This is just water, the kombu water, I put it on the stove, so please don't get confused. I know the pot looks exactly the same, but it's not, okay? This is not the kombu water. This is a clear water, okay? Look at this, clear, clear. Now, you're going to cook the noodle, obviously, because, you know, as soon as this broth is ready, you want the noodle to be done. Now, if you go to a Korean grocery store, 99.9999 all the time, oh, why am I so hot? They would have this noodle. So it's like almost like angel noodle, but it's not. So they are usually made out of wheat flour, but nowadays people are like, you know, gluten-free and all that. They actually make this rice flour. I found this. This is rice flour, potato starch, and the salt. So if you're like gluten-free, then look for this one. I was actually really surprised. It says zero wheat. It says gluten-free. This is <laughs> gluten-free. So you could use that for this recipe, but mainly we use this. And I really like the Senpyo. There's also Ashi brand. There's so many different brands, okay? So I'm gonna use this, okay? Hold on. I was gonna make the noodles, but the broth is not ready yet. <laughs> okay, so you have to make sure the broth is ready and then you make the noodles, okay? I think I'm gonna buy like a portable fan here. I think that'd be nice. Have the Beyonce effect all the time. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Just wait? Yeah, I just have to wait. Ooh. 
Okay, this was boiling, so I just got it. I just, I don't know. I'm all confused. But, I mean, don't be confused at home, okay? So once it started to, like, bubble up like so, see how it's, like, bubbly and whatever, you know? And if you keep this, this kombu in the water for too long, it's going to get really slimy. You're going to start seeing all this slimy stuff kind of, you don't want that, okay? You want to kind of, like, boil it till the water turns yellow, okay? And then you're going to scoop this out like so. You use a strainer or something like this. Okay, so this is the umami part, okay? Let's season the broth. So hot. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of any uh, seasoning, mushroom seasoning, yandu seasoning, whatever you like. I'm going to be using the mushroom seasoning today. A little bit of that. Woo. Whoa! That wasn't good. It's kind of actually scary. Well, you want to be careful, okay? Mm. God, what should I do with the, the water down there? Some salt. Oh, it tastes good already. And some garlic powder. You could put raw garlic too if you want. But why? Mm. That's it pretty much. Set aside, we're going to cook the noodles now, okay? Oh, oh my gosh, look at what happened here, guys. Disaster. I gotta clean that off before I do anything. The struggle that I- ah! That is hot. No. Is this really happening to me? Is this really? Okay. Okay, okay. Sense everything you do just goes crazy. It's one of those days. Okay, we're going to water. Boil the water. Did I say oh, you're going to water the boil? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the water starts boiling, right? You're going to put the noodle in. The white noodle. Chanchi noodle. Also, it's called so myeon, okay? So, I think so means small, small noodle. So noodle, okay? So I'll show you what they look like. A lot of the Japanese eat this too, so you'll see in Japanese brand as well. It looked like very, like so, but it's almost like, like angel noodle, but look how thin they are, see? They're pretty thin, right? And they cook very fast. It's not one of those spaghetti things that you're waiting for like hours and hours, no. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating like crazy. Something's going on here. I don't know what's going on with my body, but something's happening and you want to make sure that you stay by the noodle and you kind of stir them up break them apart you don't want them to be cooking in a clump you know so do this kind of like lift it up and make sure they're all like you know separated from each other okay and just read well I guess some of the Noodles won't have any instruction, but you want to cook it for about three or four minutes. That's it. Very little. Well, Mommy Tang, how do I gonna know if these are noodles are done? Like, how do I know? Eat it, you know? Try it. Gosh. First of all, they have to like lose the, the white color of it. Like if they're still white, like out in the package, they're not done, okay? They have to, not clear, you're not looking for the clear, but you'll just like, it'll change the color a little bit. And when you eat it, if it's hard, like al dante, like pasta, it's not done, okay? We're not going for al dante here, okay? We're going for kind of like, just cooked pasta kind of thing, like cooked noodle, okay? I think it's done. Okay, so what you're gonna do, Soup stock. 
Do you guys seriously see the sweat coming out of my face? Look at this. <laughs> is this really happening to me? Guys, it's so gross. Look at this. I have sweats coming like off of like my forehead and make what's going on here? Am I dying or something? <gasps> Why am I sweating like this? I always sweat, but still, today's like crazy sweating. All right, so on top of the stock, you're going to put some fried bean curd, fried tofu bean curd, fried tofu. In Korea, it's called yubu, okay? When you go somewhere and you say to Koreans, can I get some yubu? Like you, boo, tofu, boo, boo, like boo, like yubu, right? They'll be like, what? We're yubu, you know, yubu, like fried tofu. They'll be like, oh! It's usually in the, the freezer section. You could buy it like in a case like this, and they look like this, okay? They are frozen, they're fried little tofus. They have, they fry it, so it has a little bit of oil, but if you don't like the oil, you could kind of like, you know, rinse it in the water. I sometimes do that. You know, rinse it over the, the hot water, but you know, you don't have to. A little bit of oil don't kill you. And just, I like to cut mine like this, okay? And I like to put a lot of it because I like it. Okay, and some of that. So good, you guys. Like, seriously, okay? And you just have to cook it. This is already pre-cooked. So you're kind of heating them up. Mm. And put a little bit of scallions. Now, I always freeze my scallions. I buy them in bulk, cut them, freeze them, and use it in soup stock like this, you know? That way, you don't have to, like, cut it each time, you know? And it's pretty much done, you guys. And some Koreans don't like, you know, too much, you know, starch or whatever, so they rinse this over the water. But I only do that if I use, use this for cold stuff, cold noodle, but if I use hot, like, why rinse? So this is how you serve it. You put the noodle, right, into a bowl, okay, like so. And you put this stock on top of the noodle. Are we done yet? Of course not. Crazy. A little bit of sesame seeds. And that's it, you guys. It's done. It's finito. It's done already. Look. It's done. <sighs> now, you don't want to leave your noodles in the water. You know, obviously, you want to take it out and strain it somewhere because they'll get like, you know, really soft and like, you know, when noodle gets old, like 불어 터졌어 we call it in Korea. I don't know what you call it in English. <laughs> you know, when they like, they kind of lose their, their texture, I guess. Oh, goodness. I told you today is a disaster day. Sorry, that was too hot. Oh. Mm. And you could save the soup stock for like, you know, later in the afternoon, just cook the noodle. You could put it, eat the rest of it in the refrigerator, eat it the next day, just heat it up, just cook the noodles, that's it. Oh, yes. Mm. This, yubu, the fried tofu is so good. It's so, mm. it's like eating tempura. You know what tempura is? Tempura? 
tempura, Japanese tempura, the shrimp tempura and stuff. It's like that, but it's not, you know? So good. I'm telling you, this is one of our favorite dish in the house. Especially for winter, but even for summer, you know? Mm. And the noodle is so, it's so like glassy. Like the noodle is so smooth in your mouth. It's not, it's like, I can't explain it. It's like, it's really smooth. Like it's almost like you don't want to chew it. You just want to swallow. It's so good, you know? Mm. Wait, I need kimchi. Guys, so I have this cucumber kimchi I made for you the last video, right? Ugh. Cucumber kimchi, right? Remember, it's like perfect right now. Cucumber kimchi, right? But you know what else kimchi that I made? After I turned off the video for you guys, I made scallion kimchi, you guys. By far, that is, that is my favorite, favorite kimchi. If you make it right, scallion kimchi, pa kimchi, is the best, okay? Let me just show you. I have to use another different top. I made this. A scallion, right? Guys, seriously, like this is the best. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so yummy, so good. Mm. Oh, that just hit my throat. Oh, oh. I'm sweating. Oh. This Korean kimchi is a must, for real. They also don't make this vegan. I've never seen this anywhere vegan, okay? Well, maybe in Korea, if you go to like a vegan restaurant or some store, but otherwise, very heavily seasoned with fish sauce, shrimp sauce, right? But I don't understand why they do that because without the fish sauce and shrimp sauce, it still tastes so good. Like, it tastes so amazing. Vegan. Guys. I wish I could open like a, a vegan kimchi store for you guys, you know, so you guys could taste all this stuff. White noodle. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
the broth. Guys, do you guys like? <sighs> I've mentioned this in another video, but like, I love van life, right, guys? Like, I love van life. I wish I could do van life. Like, seriously, if I didn't have kids, I'll be. <sighs> we have to get a little bowl, honey. What? You have to get a little bowl. You have to get a bowl. So okay. I could, yeah. So if I wasn't like, if I didn't have kids, you know, some people do kid like van life with kids. I would too if, you know, I guess you have to agree that both parents like does do it, but. Unfortunately, this is not a bowl. This is a plate, honey. Oh, okay. But it's okay. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Oh, Peppy, this is your favorite, right? Yeah. What do you like about it? I don't know. I just love it. Here, you gotta put some sesame seeds. Just a little bit, because I don't like to, because it gets stuck in my tooth. Okay. Just a little bit. Here. Oh. Because oh. Because it's so hot, I'm sweating. And this kimchi is spicy. Here, put it here. Oh, you could eat it. You could come over here and eat it, okay? You want some kimchi? I want water. You want water? Oh, I've got to bring water though. Beppy, what's your favorite kimchi? That one. What's that one? What does that mean? That one. That. Yeah. The cucumber kimchi? Yeah. Can I just sit this out of here? Mm hmm. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The water tastes good. How is it? Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. Look, mommy's sweating like crazy. Like this is sauna. But it's not oh. a sauna. I know. But I am sweating like I am in the sauna. Guys, so back to van life story, right? Okay. Mm. Mm. Like, I wish I could do a van life. The fact that you could be so free and like you're... You know, you're like off grid, like it's so amazing that people fix their vans and like they don't care about anything and like they're out there like just traveling and looking at the world in different, you know, with different eyes. Like I love van life people. Like I watch a lot of van conversion. I watch a lot of outdoor stuff too, but there's this one particular like van life girl that I just got like fell in love with. I have no idea why. This is the best. I think it's because she kind of like, when I look at her, kind of like, she reminded of me when I was younger, I think. Because I love the fact that she does van life. Like, she gets dressed up, you know? She's like, she, you know, she, she always gets, her Instagram is so pretty, right? And I love the fact that Now, I'm gonna tell you, sometimes online people might seem very friendly. You meet them in true, you know, in real life, they're not so friendly, you know? They're kind of like, sometimes they're like a little fake, you know? I met a few of them in my lifetime, you know? So I really don't know. She might be, who knows? I've never met her, you know? 
but just the way she talks off the camera or on the camera she doesn't seem so fake because she seems very real who knows you know oh Pepe, please try this kimchi okay this is like mommy's favorite you have to try. i'll give you a little baby one okay Oh, Beppy, welcome to the sky and kimchi world. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you really like it? Are you just saying that just to please me? Or are you just really, really saying that? No, Look. it's really good. Right? Mommy, yeah. eat something like this big. I don't think you're ready for the big one yet. Look. But it's really spicy. I know, right? This is mommy's portion, right? Oh, wait, wait. My portion has to be small. Yeah. <laughs> I want it. But isn't it good, baby? Mm -hmm. I'll give a baby one. Here. Yum. You like it? Mm -hmm. So on her YouTube, she ta she's I think she's been in a van life since like 2017 or something like that, right? And um, I'm telling you, this girl. Let me pull her up for you, okay? So you guys know. Hey, some of you guys might know her already. She's I think she's Vietnamese, right? And she speaks German. She speaks English in her YouTube channel. I know she speaks Vietnamese, so she's like fluent in all three. She has a little bit of accent. You know but that's normal and she's so real like for some reason like i guess i can't really spot who's fake and who is real but then when i look at them i'm like you know like i wonder if they're really nice like that or i wonder if they're mean like that but sometimes like you could kind of tell that if they have like mean spirit but she has really like sweet spirit right and the fact she built her own van like she literally built her own whole van like the whole thing right and i really like love like, I saw all her videos so far. I just, like, you sit there, you just kind of watch. Like, in the latest video that she just posted is because One Pot Van Life, and she spoke, like, German in here. Like, I was like, wow, this girl's so smart, you know? Who was that? Was food? Yeah, not drinks. Drinks? Yeah. What do you mean? Kayla ordered drinks. To who? To us. Why? It's been a long time since we met in Hamburg. That's one sexy language, like speaking German, you know? <laughs> and also, like, she does a little bit of cooking, and she talks a lot in her videos about, like, just everything about herself, you know? And she's very open. I guess, I guess we, we are very supportive, and we... But I have to call and figure out where it is so I can eventually pick it up myself. And then, you know, because I have four days left to go to Manchester and then it's still about five hours driving. But with my van, it would be around eight hours. Of so pretty much she just talks in her video, like what she's going through, how she's doing it and like how she travels and stuff like that. It's I don't know why, but out of the, all the van life people, like I just got stuck with her. OK, so guys, go and check her out. OK, uh -huh. I don't want any soup. You just want this? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And when you go in there, tell her, like, mommy thinks that sent me here, you know? <laughs> so maybe she could watch my video. Um. But yeah. I want to share that with you today. I don't know why. I just want to share, like, you know, don't you have people like that you kind of like stalk <laughs> on YouTube? She's one of them. For me. Um, this? Alright, I'll give you one leaf of the scallion. Let's do this. Hey. Baby, I'm so proud of you that you like that. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to brush my teeth today. <laughs> I know, right? You could, you could tell, right? That it's gonna be like mm -hmm. so garlic and scallionish, right? Mm -hmm. But it's good. All, it's all good. Mm. Cut some of that too. That's pretty good. Too. Ah. 
I admire those van life people. I have another guy, another van life guy that I watch. I just discovered him, but I like her because I just, I think maybe I like her personality. I like the way she's so free with everything. And she's just like, you know, um, she's just like that. Like she's very easy with her, her life and the way she just kind of opens up about her life and stuff like that. I, that's what I like about her. Let me get some. Then there's this guy that I really like that I watch. Yeah, it's I called guess. living the van life. He does like this van life thing, but in winter storm and he goes into the woods or the, the solo winter camping, winter survival. There's like, um, deep woods camping like he does all this like thing but then the way he like tackles the video it's so beautiful like he it's just the way he makes his video is very beautiful and like he seems like a really really nice guy too for some reason i feel like van let me are so nice i could be so wrong but i mean look at that isn't that beautiful And look at that like he actually films like him going through the snow but like you know as a vlogger solo vlogger that means he got out of the car he had to put the camera set up drive back drive again come back again for the camera like he does that but he does that for a lot of his shots it's amazing And I feel like, uh, no, I don't feel like, I know, okay? He puts a lot of effort to it. It's like, he does a lot of cooking. He's not vegan, obviously, so, I mean, you know. He doesn't cook any vegan food. I don't think, same with Susie Cruz. I don't think she's vegan either. But, you know, like I said, I'm not following there for food. I'm just following there for van life. It's very informative. It's just the way these guys, like, just share their lives about, like, what's going on and stuff. I think it's so interesting. It's 32 degrees outside. That's zero degrees Celsius and 17 degrees Celsius inside. Living the van life, okay? That's his channel. So please check them out. Yeah. Am I sponsored by them? <laughs> Are you guys for real? Who sponsors YouTube? Wait, does people sponsor each other? I've never met them. They don't know who I am, okay? I just watched them. I'm one of their I have a viewers. question. Yeah. So if you rather have, so if you can go, go to one fan, who would you pick? You gotta talk so I understand what you're saying, okay? <laughs> if you want me to answer you, you have to first ask the question so I understand. What's the question? The question is, who, if you if you had to go to some um, a fan, who would you go to? What fan? Like a fan? No, like a like a YouTube fan. Oh, if I had to pick a yeah. YouTuber that I like, yeah, I don't like the most. Yeah. Who would I pick? Yeah, my favorite. To meet. Oh, to meet. Right at this moment, I would pick Susie Cruz. <laughs> because I've been watching her a lot these days, so I would pick her now. I'll play, I will play. What? Who would you meet? Chad Wild Clay, Green Clay, and Dan, Daniel, and. Chad and what? And V Quaint. V Quaint? Quaint. Quaint? I don't know who they are. They must be very famous if you're watching them. Yeah, but. he got 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers? Yeah. Or 10 million subscribers? Probably uh, 10 million. Oh, yeah, 10 million. And he got a play button. Oh, I have a play button too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah, me. it's just not <laughs> diamond or gold. It's still silver, but I got one. <laughs> uh, is a play button. Is it gold like this big? Yeah, so he must have 10 million, not 10,000 subscribers. How much did you have? Me? Uh -huh. I got that when I got 100,000 subscribers. Now oh. I need to go for 1 million. <laughs> but people don't know me. People don't want to subscribe to me. I'll subscribe to you. Thanks. I'll give my iPad when we're done. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to clean this up. But anyways, yeah. Goodbye. Buffy. Did you where'd you get more noodles? <laughs> <laughs> wait, how did Kayla order how did wait, let me talk to Kayla. Starbucks.
Kayla's at her friend's house. Kayla. Yes. Did you order me Starbucks? Yeah. Why would you order me Starbucks? Because um, me and Maya got it, and then I didn't What? Because me and Maya got it. Okay. So then, because when, when they come, I don't want to pay an Amber Wine, so I just got it for them. Oh, you did this out of love for us? You don't love me? No, I'm saying you must love me. For me to... I need to know be vegan. I know. The fact that you order something on Uber and then you thought about me while you're at your friend's house, you must love me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right <I'll... laughs> oh my gosh. I'll see you later, Kayla. Hey, hey, bye. Oh my God, can you get the drink? I literally feel like I just went to a sauna. Oh. Two Starbucks drinks. All right, let me this see. This one's vegan, though. Ooh, what is this? It's um, Kayla. vanilla frappuccino. Vegan vanilla, vanilla frappuccino. Mm -hmm. mm. I know, right? Mm. It's good. No, right? Yeah. One more? Yeah. Isn't it good? Mm hmm That's why I always get this. And it comes to vegan. Oh, yeah. Oh, I needed that because I was so hot. Oh. If both of mommy wants some, so I made it no, with no. Wait, so you talked to her already? You knew she was going to give you Starbucks? And you didn't tell me? <laughs> Because <laughs> you did mukbang. But you didn't even ask me. She only got two. That means she only got it for you and Amber. She didn't get it for me. No, but I I said, but I'm going to show with mommy. Why would you say that? I don't know. You it's see, you have to get extra, extra, extra large, which is venti for mom. I didn't know that. It's okay. <laughs> I love you. Just kidding. All right, we're done. Do you want some more noodles? You're sweating. <laughs> I know, right? I think all my video, I've been sweating. Oh my god, and the battery died.